Would you like some inspiration for different unusual tools that you've probably got lying around the house to add some interest and variety and different textures and marks to your paintings? Stay tuned, I've got three unusual tools to share with you. So I'm very excited to show you these tools today because they're probably things that you've unknowingly got lying around the house already. So provided you've already got some paint and perhaps some paper or a canvas, you can get started experimenting and seeing what marks you can make right away. The first tool that I wanted to share with you is the very humble kitchen sponge. Now we explore a little bit about how you can use sponges in my free e-course, the Get Started with Painting and Creativity e-course that you can get at nicolanewman.com slash begin. But basically, you can use these for all kinds of different processes. You can stamp with them, you can drag them and make interesting kind of squiggly dragging marks. And you can also cut them, as you can see I have with these blue ones, into different shapes and sizes to vary the different marks that you can achieve. So that's tool number one, kitchen sponges. Of course, natural sponges would be beautiful as well and they have even more irregularities because they're natural and they're not manufactured. So if you can get your hands on a natural sponge, even better. Tool number two is something that if you're a little bit handy and around the house and have done some plastering, you're likely to have some of these. And this is basically a, a workman's tool, but you can pick them up from the hardware store. And I have actually done a video demonstrating how I love to use these with oil paints. You can load up the edge with some oil paint, either the one color or a couple of different colors. And then with a soft wrist, just drag it across your painting surface and you'll end up with these amazing mottled marks. So I'll link to that video down below and make sure you get yourself a little set of these builder's trowels, I think they're called, or spatulas. And they come in all different widths as well. And if you can get a few different widths, get a wide one and a middle size one and a narrow one, you'll be on your way to making a whole broad range of new marks in your paintings. One other favorite thing I love to do with it is stamp it like this and you get these lovely very straight sort of marks. So that's tool number two. Tool number three, you can go for a little visit to your laundry cupboard and you'll probably find a spray bottle. Now the spray bottle is one of my favorite ways to help people get started with a painting and you can um, simply drip some paint onto your canvas and then using a spray bottle, spray away on the canvas and then turn your canvas around and it'll drip and make all these different amazing interesting marks. That's just one of the ways that we cover in the five fun ways to get started with paintings in my paid program, Flourish with Painting and Creativity. But I'm giving you that tip because it's so much fun and I want you to be able to have a play with it right away. But if you're looking for more inspiration and more exercises that you can follow along with me step by step and feel really nurtured and guided in the process, by all means check out Flourish with Painting and Creativity because it's a fantastic program and it's loads and loads of fun that will reward you for many, many years to come. So there's my three tools that you've probably got lying around the house. And feel free to share in the comments below if you've got ideas for other tools that you like to use. I know people have different things that they love to use for stamping or scraping. And I'd love to hear from you what yours are. So I'm wishing you a fantastic week. Be kind to yourself, nurture your creativity, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Now, if you're new to my blog and you would like to, some help to get started with painting and creativity, I've created a beautiful 10-day free e-course that takes you through just that, getting started with painting and creativity. And you can find that at nicolanewman.com forward slash begin. And in there, you'll be taken through how to paint an abstract painting, we'll do some writing and some photography exercises, and it's loads of fun.